In this video, we are going to solve an interesting problem on Diels order reaction and 3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement. The question is when this diene is treated with LDA, lithium diisopropyl amide, TBDMS chloride, tertiary dimethyl silyl chloride, followed by treatment with methyl acrylate upon heating, what will be the product? This problem is based on two interesting reactions. The first one deals order. The second one is 3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement. More specifically, I can say it is Ireland Claisen rearrangement. It is modification of Claisen rearrangement. As soon as you come across Diels order reaction, you have to think of the selectivity in Diels order reaction. The first one, it is endo selectivity. The second one, regio selectivity. Third one, stereo selectivity. All these three stereo selectivity we are going to discuss in this problem. That's why I mentioned it is very interesting. This three sigma trophic rearrangement, generally it is observed in 1,5 diene. The given starting material is basically a diene ester. To this, I add base LDA, lithium diisopropyl amide, is a strong bulkier base. When I add that, it will abstract the acidic proton that is alpha hydrogen. As a result, I will get the enolate. I don't bother whether it is E enolate or Z enolate. So let it be like this. Now to this I add TBDMS chloride, tertiary dimethyl silyl chloride. What I get is O silylation. This is what happens when I treat the starting material with LDA and TBDMS chloride. The second step, I treat this diene with methyl acrylate. Methyl acrylate is very good substrate for Diels order reaction. It is diene of 5. We have diene also. Now, the diene can be added to the methyl acrylate in two ways. The first one, this carbon may be added to this carbon. As a result, I may end up with a product like this. Here there will be CO2ME. There is also another possibility. This carbon may be added here. That also basically Diels sort order of reaction and it is 4 plus 2 cycloaddition. As a result, I will get this product. Now, which one will be major? To predict that, you should know the regio selectivity in Diels order of reaction. In Diels order of reaction, you will not get 1, 3 substituted cyclohexene derivative. Either you will get 1, 2 or 1, 4. What is the reason? When I go for this diene, it is attached with oxygen, which has lone pair. Afterwards, I have silyl enol ether. To this, I add methyl acrylate. In methyl acrylate, because of resonance, there will be del plus on this carbon, del minus on this carbon. Because of del plus, it will prefer to be added to the del minus of this diene. The electron rich carbon will attack this del plus. 
which one will have more electron density that carbon has to attack this carbon here because of resonance there will be more negative charge on this carbon because of that this minus charge will attack here this minus and this minus cannot be coupled together so as a result you will not get this product you will end up with only this one the second important point is what will be the relative stereochemistry between these two substituents whether they will be cis or trans in order to predict the relative stereochemistry i go for the transition state this is the diene this is the diene of 5 co2 et i have to take on this carbon because i have to attach this and this now whether i have to place co2 et towards my right or towards my left to predict that you have to use the endo selectivity rule when you go for diels solder reaction the product should be always endo that means the co2 et should be in this direction there will be secondary orbital interaction between the diene and carbonyl group i place the remaining hydrogen atoms also now a bond is formed between this carbon and this carbon i place the remaining hydrogen also here now what will be the relationship between these two substituents it is very obvious this hydrogen and co2 et they are in opposite direction for more clarity i can take even that particular part i have written this particular part here so here it is very obvious this hydrogen and the co2 et they are trans to each other so the product whatever we get should be like this co2 et and the hydrogen should be trans to each other that means this vinyl group co2 et should be cis to each other maybe like this or i can also go for the other one the thin line and thick lines are used to say that the two substituents are cis it is not asymmetric synthesis you will not get one stereoisomer selectively now if you look at this this compound is 15 diene 15 diene can undergo 33 sigma trophic rearrangement when it undergoes 33 sigma trophic rearrangement since it is on the top it has to be added here on the top as a result co2 et and this group should be cis to each other i try the rearrangement this bond goes here this bond goes here this bond from this carbon attacks here as a result what i get is a double bond has been formed here this bond has been broken co2 et still it is there this carbon is added here to this i have one methyl group then one more carbon then co o tbdms so this is the product whatever we will get after 3 3 sigma trophic rearrangement since the stereochemistry here it is beta phase here also it should be beta phase it is on the top so it can be added on the top only 
Finally, when you deprotect this, you will get the corresponding acid. So the product, whatever we get after the 3-3 sigma trophic rearrangement will be like this. I don't bother about the stereochemistry of the methyl group. So this will be the product. So here I have used the regioselectivity, stereoselectivity as well as endoselectivity in Diels order reaction. This particular rearrangement is known as ireland claisen rearrangement. It is modification of Claisen rearrangement. In Claisen, we use allyl vinyl ether. Here also you can find that. Vinyl allyl ether. In Ireland Claisen rearrangement, the vinyl part will be generally silyl enol ether that will undergo rearrangement. So now let us go to the given options. The first two options, the two substituents are on one three carbon atoms. We didn't get 1,3 substituted cyclohexane. We got 1,4 substituted. So these two are correct. Now the question is whether the two substituents will be cis or trans. Here these two are cis. Here these two are trans. I got cis product. So this should be the answer.